that woman would have gone on and on. You know, she had once stopped to say, thank you for all your help. I know you got a show to run on. See, that's that only child. Daddy can't have a cookie. 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 Daddy can She would have never stopped. And I need you guys to ask yourself, I know what she looks like. She's average. And I'm not going to put her up there, but I need you to ask. When, when she had average men in her life, she always thought that she should have had different. They weren't on her level. Not ready to bring kids into. Uh, if you are an average woman and, you, and, and there's average guys out there, do you think average guys are going to want to be subjected to that? Why does all this have import? Because women in the danger zone want above average. Women in the danger zone tend to want above average men. And I will tell you, guys over here, the high value guy, no. Not going to put up with that. Not going to deal with that. Not at all. Not at all, not at all, not at all. But no, I will tell you what, uh, <clears throat> Lady Senzo, she said I was rude. See, you, what you get with a lot of these women is you don't have a lot of women who are used to having a guy speak to um, hear a man speak. But if you listen, she's in that woman, if you're a hey, big head. On that same show, I had a woman call into my show who called in last week, who I checked her on some stuff too. And what did she call in last week and say, Kevin, I just got to tell you, last week you told me I'm a, I'm a feminist. Call back into my show the next day. So I'm going to go ahead and let you back in because that woman joined my channel. She joined my channel. Shut up talking in the chat room. Get on the chat. Now I'm going to tell you, shut it. You can get on the show. I don't want to hear you type in the chat room anymore. You can get on the show. Because when you say I'm rude, you're going to have to justify that. I don't play that mess. Too many women just like to throw stuff around. Words mean things. So make sure you have your husband with you. If you're gonna tell me you got a husband, make sure he's make sure he's there and cam ready. Do 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 do. This is why it's so dangerous about the danger zone. You you you're out there like you got all the time in the world. You haven't really taken any assessments. You not haven't been any self reflective. And the funny thing is, these women who are in the danger zone tend to be the main ones calling in on topics like they got their stuff together. And then I ask them some questions like, "Why are you even on the topic? You need to you need to get yourself together." I've, I've called out men in the same regard, too. But more often than not, it tends to be, I mean, didn't that happen a couple of weeks ago? Woman going to tell me, you're telling average women that they can't get high value men. And I know plenty of rich men or high value men. And when it turns out that she don't ain't married, don't know, none of, don't, ain't got nothing for them. Funny to me. So come on. Let's get the likes up, man. We got 2,000 people in here. And, you know, I'm not going. Yeah, the truth is always rude to black women. Thank you. Can we get the likes up, people? The truth is always rude. Who can tell you the truth, sisters? Who can tell you the truth? It's always rude. You're so used to somebody kissing your tail. Somebody who's trying to help. Why would I? Why would somebody? Why would somebody who spent forty minutes of his time on this show? Huh? Why would Why would somebody who spent forty minutes of time on this show? Why do you think that person's trying to? What What do you think? Hmm? I'm sitting there being rude. Why do I need to be rude? Come on, uh, B, 
chat room's open. She had a lot to say earlier. She had a lot to say earlier. Yeah. Mm hmm. Had a lot to say. If you type in all caps, your message will be blocked. Life is funny and sometimes strange. It's a lot turns out the way you think. But if you want some good advice, I can offer this small wink. You find that. A little goes a long way. A little kindness goes a long way, ladies. A little goes a long way for love. A little goes a long way. A little goes a long way. A little goes a long way for love. Open up the chat room. Ask anything you want on this subject. Here's a link right there, right above your name. I'm looking for the link to call in. It's right there. Where's my favorite feminist? Go ask Tiffany. A little goes a long way. You hear that woman sit on that room on that phone talk about these are good questions. These are good questions. I've never had anybody ask me these questions before. 33 years old and ain't nobody ever asked her these questions. All these women in her life ain't nobody ever asked her these questions. In one session, she got more from me for free than she's ever gotten for anybody. To uh, Cologne I'm rocking today, you long. You long. Um Armani Privé, it's a new tea-based fragrance. Hello? You're on. You, you muted yourself. We're going to unmute you. Hello. Hi. Hi, Kevin. Hi. Can you see me and yeah. hear me? Yeah. What's your first name? Uh, Sophia. Sorry. I w turns out I was using my work account. So essentially it has a different name. No, no. But, but what are you in the chat room? Uh, yeah. So my question. Hold on. Uh, hold on. Is what are you in the chat room? Oh, why am I in the No, 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 no. What, what was your name? Okay, go ahead. I'm oh, I, I was waiting sorry. for somebody else Let to me, come in. Uh, go ahead. Okay. Um, Sorry, I can't figure out how to change the name. Um, That's all right. It doesn't matter. Okay, but yeah, my question is how to avoid... Uh, I'm very young and I'm just starting the whole dating scene. And I'm wondering how to avoid becoming... Uh, that turning into that person that ends up in the in the danger zone uh i just worry like with all the statistics that you've listed okay 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 hold on let the, me make sure let me do this real quick know, let, that, let me do this real quick first off you have me on you need to shut the youtube channel off in the background and then it sounds like you have me on bluetooth so there may be a delay um Brittany, unmute yourself hello hello how are, are you? you hi are you b I'm B Ben, yes. All right, what's up, Big Head? There you go with the big head. Yeah, I, I, that's right. I'm gonna call you Big Head. I didn't insult you. You got, got a nice size cranium on you. <laughs> well, thank you. I, I mean, I you, that means you're smart, right? Not, not necessarily, but I am a smart woman, though. Well, then it's a compliment calling you Big Head. <laughs> but tell me why I was rude. Well, I, okay. Well, I'm. A, I'm gonna tell you this one because. I don't know because I'm not in your head. I actually like your show. I just started viewing your show. And I've actually sent out your information and videos to friends and family of mine. So yesterday when I was watching the show, I was kind of like shocked. I don't want to say like 
to be honest with you, Mr. Samuels, a little disappointed because I felt like you were being kind of rude to her when you call her what you call her a batch and you're like other countries they'll be able to smack women for talking well first up first, first and, of all hold on hold on hold on i need you to make sure when you quote me you need to make sure you quote it in context see a lot of times women just pull stuff out completely out of context what did i say i said in a state of nature when a female tries to dominate a male what would happen she even said he'd push back. She knows what would happen. She knew she was out of place. Did you not hear that? Yes, I, I heard that she. So, she, so oh. if, if two men were talking to one another, right? Two men talking to one another, right? And you got one guy that's here and one guy that's here. And then one, the smaller guy starts trying to over talk the larger guy. What do you think would happen in that situation? There's going to come a point in time where it would escalate to something physical. Yes or no? Yes, in nature, yes. Ex but we're, we're, I we're, 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 hold on, ma'am. We're human animals. But see, men know this. Men self-edit and moderate ourselves because there is always between men, no matter where we are, a low level threat of violence. There are lines between all men that you can't cross, between a president, between a police officer, between a firefighter, between two guys on the street. We know that eventually we take this civilian stuff over here. But see, with women, especially Western women, we have civilized the world so much that you have so many freedoms that you can sit there and over talk somebody that you cannot whoop their ass. Men cannot do that to men, so women are right or wrong to do that, knowing they cannot deal with the violence that comes if it happened. So, I think I've heard callers over talking be rude to you. I have. Women, I women, that. women are right or wrong to over talk a man, push a man, do things that they know are rude to a man. Just because a man's hands are tied behind his uh, hands, uh, tied behind his back legally, but see, me, is, is that right or wrong, ma'am? I would say it's wrong. Exactly, and that's my point. If it was a man and he did it, there'd be a problem. But see, women can do that. I was watching a video the other day. Uh, the Chipotle thing, right? The two black women, the pregnant white woman with the gun. Did you see that thing? No. Okay. There's no. a there's a video going around where there's a, a a a white woman pulls a gun on a black woman and her daughter. But pre precipitated that was this pregnant white woman standing in front of this sister, and this sister's mm -hmm. going off on her. You are out of your mind. You push this 15 year old girl and da, da, da. And this woman's not saying anything. This woman's pregnant. Then she yeah. got into her sister girl thing and started talking crazy and da, 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 da. Uh, the guy, her husband comes over and opens the door for his wife. And then the woman, the black woman turns to the black, to the, to the white man who just opened the door. He said, you don't have to be talking to her this kind of way. He didn't even engage her. And the black woman turned around and said, you can go ahead and I'll whoop your, I'll whoop your ass too. That's what the black woman said to a man. Do you think that black woman could have really whooped that white man's ass? Of course not. But why would she talk to him that way? Because she knew that, the, that, that there's no threat of violence. And that's my point, ma'am. When women talk to men in such a way, you're trying to punk a man. And that's not cool. We see it happen all the time. So I want to be... I so that's oh. why I say we... And, that's the, and the point I'm getting to that over here is that's why I was saying that she knew what she was doing. So it wasn't rude that I told her, you're being rude and you're lucky we live in a civilized country because if we lived in a Muslim country, that wouldn't happen. We lived in some other countries, that wouldn't happen. And you know that. Yeah, and I'm grateful to be here. But I, I agree with you on the examples you gave, I, Mr. Samuels. I totally agree with you. You don't have to and call I'm me Mr. You call me Kevin, it's fine. Well, that's the way. And anytime in my comments, I always write you because you're an older man. Thank you. But what I'm saying is, I've heard women on your show and I've heard them be snippy and rude and they were being rude and snippy. And however you responded back, 
it was deserved. But I'm think I don't want that thing. In the context of listening to her, she just seemed like she talked a lot. She, I, she didn't come off to me as trying to be rude to you. I've heard some people where you're, they were like, yes, and the, like I've mm-hmm. heard some women and they were strictly really trying to be rude to mm-hmm. you. And the fact that she still kept asking for your advice, still kept asking, even though you were saying like, look, you know what? <sighs> Nobody's going to take you at this time, ma'am. You just, she still kept coming. So somebody that was trying to be purposely rude to you wouldn't still keep coming for you for help and so i think that there might have been a miscommunication no let me let me let me okay go back to the phone go back to the call when i said would you talk to a white man like this i asked her point blank would you would you speak to it she's like no would you talk would you talk to another well and she would you talk to another i forgot exactly what i said and she said well to somebody that i had respect for no, I wouldn't no, she talk said, to um, somebody I love. And I think she said she only had male supervisors. She didn't only say had no, female supervisors. Bottom, 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 bottom line is this. Here's the bottom line. Here's the bottom line. I'm very careful with the words I use. I did more than my level best to. That woman was on my phone for 40 minutes and would not stop. I agree with you. And, and look, at 33 years old, if she has that little impulse control, if that's how she walks around through life, no wonder. And if no one is, and apparently no one ever told her, this is a problem. I agree. That's why she sat there and said, these questions are good. No one's ever asked me. So I, I find it a bit hard to swallow that you're saying I'm being rude when she sat there having her eyes open. How should a man talk to her then? How should a man be direct to a woman? And, and, and yeah, please tell us, because I'm, I'm curious to hear this one. Well, it's again to like the point I said, I've heard people be snippy with you intentionally and, and what you said back is deserved. I'm saying, because like, I agree with you, she's kind of all over the place and kind of that I can tell that's a personality thing. It's like, maybe not take this so personally. I know you're very masculine, man. I love very masculine. It's not a matter of taking it personally, ma'am. She's, I don't, if she were 23, that's one thing. She's 33. Yeah. Yeah. She's 33. And this is a this is a show and it's a business. I have to mute her four times. Mm-hmm. There is no mute button in the real world. I see what I don't think a lot. What I think a lot of times, women, you give each other the benefit of the doubt, even when they act wrong. What you what you have not said is that woman. Well, well, well do you think the way she was behaving was appropriate? I think. I think she was all over the place. I think that was her personality. I'm not saying it's the best personality. Okay, I'm I so I ask was, again: Do I? Do you think the way her personality? Do you think the way she was behaving was appropriate? Uh, no. She should have read the social context clue, so it was time to get off the phone. All right. So why didn't you write that in the chat room? Why didn't I write that she should have read? I why didn't you? Why that. didn't you? Why didn't you? I didn't read any well, critiques you had of her. Okay. I, I do critique everybody. <laughs> you just read the one about you. I said I did not. I didn't say I did. I didn't say you didn't, but I said I did okay. not. Okay. So what did you say about her? I didn't say, oh, I didn't say anything about her in, in today's track. Because I said, there I you go, you ma'am. <laughs> there you go. So again, the business owner, the professional, doing his level best to give her give do something for her for free that she normally would have to pay for, that she could pay for, but chose not to. I told her to book a session. She still kept going. I had to cut her off. You critique, hold on, you critique me, but you have no critique for her. But now, even today, you can sit back, well, she could have did this, well, she could have did this. This is what a lot of you women do with each other. You look for fault with what a man does, but you can't say, but you, only when I have to pull it out of you are you finding fault with her. But Mr. Samuel, I think you're generalizing things. I'm not generalizing. I'm being very specific with you. I know you're also cutting me off anytime I'm trying to make a point and you see I'm being quiet when you're talking. (laughs) All right. What, but what I was just saying, that's the way, and it could be, like you said, women give people the benefit of the doubt and all those things. Women give women the benefit of the doubt. But I also see a lot of comments in the chat and a lot. I can't worry about the chat room, ma'am. I'm running a show. I I can't worry about the chat room. I got a program. 
Well, you I, heard I, about my comment, so. Your but comment is highlighted show. because you're a member of my show. I can see that because you actually paid to have your comment highlighted. That's why oh. your comment was there. Okay. So, where's your husband? Actually, I called your show like a week ago. I told you I was di divorced. But, uh, actually, uh, call it. No, no offense. No, I, I need to let me make this. Let me let me make this uh, for public service announcement. We content creators sleep. Yeah. I can't know all the people, thousands of people that call my show. Remember all that stuff? Yes, I know, Mr. Samuel. So I still want to hear you give that woman some some critique. Okay, so my critique of her would be she needs to uh, kind of pause when she's when she's speaking and kind of think before she speaks because she is kind of all over the place. She kind of rambles. Uh, she seemed kind of overly excited for your feedback and help and maybe, again, pause with that. Also, reading the social social context clues of realizing she did talk, take up a lot of time. She did keep asking questions. Um, and she wasn't getting the hint when you kept saying, hey, you're over talking me. Again, that means pausing. I think like thoughts kept popping in her head. And so she was so eager to like, like, hey, I got Mr. Samus on the phone. I, I need all the help. You, whatever. Are you an only child? Like, no, I'm not the only child. Okay. Do you know many only children? I don't know the percentage. Do you, I mean, personally, do you have many friends that are only children? Oh, do I know? Uh... No, I don't know a lot of people okay. that are only children. Uh, I am one, and I know lots. And that's okay. part of the only child syndrome. That wasn't innocent what she was doing. It was manipulation. Okay. okay. I mean, again, I'm good at what I do. And if I say something, if you watch me, I find it interesting you say that this one, that I'm being rude. Well, guess what? Let's just say I was rude. And, okay, I was rude. Is that okay. what, no, but, but, but you say she wasn't rude, but you were, but that the caller wasn't rude. Mr. Samuels was rude. That's what your comment said. I have a problem with that. I, I've also made a lot of comments and I've also, and again, I, I'm going to move on to the next one. If you like my work, then understand, so, like understand <laughs> something. If you like what I do, understand uh -huh. something. You're lucky you get me because what a lot of guys would love to tell you women when you act the way you do, even this challenging stuff. I mean, to be honest with you, that woman don't, if I wanted to say what I really want to say, she didn't pay me for my session. She called the show for free and took up an hour of my time and would have continued to take more. She was lucky that I didn't hang up on her. So I'll put it to you. This, uh, that's as nice as I'm going to say it. And I will tell you another black. There's a reason that so many of our sisters are by themselves. You cannot take criticism. The truth is rude. The truth is negative. Who can criticize black women? Black men certainly cannot. Who can criticize you and not catch hell? Are you saying I can't take criticism? No, no. Black women. Black women. All of you. But Ados black women. Life. Who can criticize black women and not catch hell? Is that the question posed to me or are you just talking? Yeah, I'm asking you, I'm asking you who can criticize black women and not catch hell? Because apparently they, I, they know how to do it right. Who can do it? I, th I think everybody criticizes black women in general. Okay. Can, give me some specific people. Um, uh, Let's see. Uh, you heard it's somebody I know or somebody famous. You can think about just the 50 cent comment the other day. So. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 50 cent comment and 50 cent can say what he says about black women and he doesn't yeah. catch any backlash or hell from black women. I said everybody criticizes black women. No, ma'am. I asked a very specific question. Who, Who can, can criticize? Mm-hmm. I think everybody does. Again, I think everybody does. Okay, again, I'm, I've given you multiple times to answer, and you can say everybody, but you're not telling me who. I think anytime somebody's criticized, people all right. always... All criticize. right, all right, all right. And and how old are you? 35. 35. So you're familiar with Shahara Zad Ali? No, sir. Go, go, go Google her. 
Shahara Zadali wrote a book called The Black Man's Guide to Understanding the Black Woman. In 1989, okay. she actually was one of the first black women that ever stood up and said, you know what? Black men have been put through the microscope and been analyzed and, and critiqued 20 ways on Sunday, but black women are the only group of people in this country who have never had our be behavior analyzed or held to task. Black women in whole are above critique, above accountability. I asked you five times, who can criticize black women and not catch hell? And you cannot tell me one person because you know, just like I know, anybody has anything to say about black women are going to catch hell. This is why you only get praise. Black women get praise. Uh, you, you uh, <laughs> okay. Look, I, I'm gonna get to the next. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get to the next. I'm not gonna keep doing this. I'm not gonna keep doing. It. I'm not playing back and forth with you. I mean, I live in this world just like you do. Black do, women and, and black things, women. And that's the thing. A lot of things you say. I'm not doing the gaslighting thing. I'm not doing the gaslighting thing. If you live in the world of sunshine and daffodils and fairy tales, cool. But I know the world I live in, and black women, you, you, I have to be so careful about what I say, and still in my comment section, you're this, you're that, that. Anyway, hey, uh, how to pronounce your first name, Sarah? Soraya. Soraya, what's going on? Are you in the danger zone? Hey, I just found you today, so I'm so happy I got through. <laughs> Me and Soraya go back like babies with pacifiers. Old dirt dog, no liar. What's going on? Nothing. Okay, so you might think this is a dumb question, but I just want to know. No dumb questions. Okay. I'm in the danger zone. Okay. But when I meet new guys, I never tell them my real age. Okay. Do you think guys are used to women lying about their age or when they find out, is it like a <gasps> big surprise? Well, um, guys are used to women lying about everything, honestly. Um, but the bigger question is, why do you feel compelled to have to not be truthful about your age? Because I want them to get to know me and not judge me for being single at my age. And they believe me when I tell them the okay. age anyways. All right. Well, I, I understand. But you also got to step back and say you want to start a potential relationship with deception. That's not a good thing. How old are you? 29. Okay. I mean, it's not like you're 60. Um, <laughs> I mean, seriously. Okay. So let, let, okay. Okay. You got to ask yourself, a, so no, you don't need to lie about your age. That's not a good thing because if you start out with deception, you open yourself up to be deceived. Uh, are you, are you looking to get married? Yeah. Um, uh, any children? No. All right. Um, at 29, what's the longest relationship you've ever had? Well, I'm talking to someone now like two years. You guys have been together for two years? Mm-hmm. I lied to him about my age when I met him. And then uh, are we, you guys in the same city? On, yeah, we're in the same city. So when okay. we went on our first trip together, right. I had to give him my birthday and he found out and he just thought it was funny, but All right. <laughs> it's oh, just like uh, I don't know. I but, hope he doesn't think I'm lying about everything. Well, <laughs> I think it, but I gotta ask, does he wanna get does he wanna get married? Yeah. But he's older. He's like 50 something. So, I, so it wasn't that big of a deal. My oh. age. I mean, no, 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 no. What I'm asking, does he want to get married? And does he want to marry you? Well, now he talks about it. We just hit two years like Memorial Day weekend. So now baby girl, all it takes, baby girl, it don't take that long when you're that old. Really? Uh, six months is all it takes. I got a fraternity brother met his girlfriend. They, they be, they're going to be married inside six months. Look, it don't take that long. Two years. So I get... should so I should meet someone new and not lie about my age. Oh, first off, uh, let, me not, let, me, let me not make it personal. Let me tell you something. All you black women need to stop these two and three and four year relationships when you want to get married. 
ain't no man going to decide to marry you if he don't want to marry you up front. What you're telling me sounds like he's, he, I don't want to judge him, but if you start off not being honest, I'm going to assume you weren't telling him up front when you met, Hey, I'm looking to get married. He just kind of probably let it go where it goes. And that's why you got this vague open thing right now. If you truly want to get married, you're wasting your time. I need to start dealing with more marriage minded kind of men. Does that make sense? Get out of the chat room, chick, chick. Get out of the chat room before I hang you up on you. I'm serious. Don't do that chat room stuff. Yeah, I'm just reading the comments. Yeah, I, I don't like, care oh, about no. the comments. Hey, look. Hey, 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 hey. I'm running the show and I'm not in the comment section. Turn that off. Okay. I'm trying to talk to you. Your picture's not up there, but you're 27. You spent two years. You look back over there one more again, I'm going to hang this up. No, I'm, I'm focused. All right. But seriously, though, you're an attractive woman. Why? Why are you wasting time? Well, I didn't know that I needed to do it within six months. I mean, the, you know, now it's like, okay, maybe if, if that's the timetable I should be looking at, then it's like, uh, okay, Well, I'm well, saying all it takes, here's what I'm saying, is when a man wants to get married, he you going over there, close the iPad, put knock the computer down. I can tell when your eyes go over there. I'm serious. I'm, I, no, understand something. I, you look back over there, I'm going to go to the next person. Are we clear? I'm serious. I won't. All right. Or you can always book a session and pay for it. And you can look wherever you want to. Seriously, though, you're 29. You got two years into this and you're hoping he decides to marry you. No. No, because if he wanted to marry you at 50, whatever, he knows what K Jewelers is, Gordon's, he would have produced a ring and locked you up inside six months. He's going to continue letting this go as long as you let this go. Uh, if you know you want to get married, peace. Why is that okay. so, why is that so hard to hear? I just need to give them the ultimatum in a no, like, no, no, call. no, 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 no. Make clear, you don't give any ultimatums. You make a decision that you want to be married and say, we are, and end it. See, if you give him an ultimatum and he doesn't want to marry you, what do you think he's going to do? Let's play this out. And if and then, and you're still where you are. Give him an ultimatum; he's going to leave. Or if you give him an ultimatum and he does decide to say, "Okay, I'll go buy a ring, marry me," is that the kind of marriage you really want? No, I wasn't going to say it like that. <laughs> but that's where you're at. And I'm trying to talk to you and talk to a lot of other women. When you uh, men know from the get-go whether or not we want to marry you okay okay do you believe that yes. or don't you believe that i do believe that what's what city are you in miami okay all right well yeah you got a lot of player stuff happening in miami uh but then you uh yeah how tall are you I'm five five. You know what's coming next? Dress size. I wear a size. I wear a size six to eight. <laughs> yeah, everybody keeps asking me to put you. I'm not gonna put you on. And I'm not gonna put you on there. Oh, I have no makeup. I have all my my serums on. I have no makeup. I'm on not going to. Day. I'm not going to. But she's attractive, guys. You can yeah. find. You can find another man. Yeah, I'm not like worried. This. It's just. I it's know. just like. Join my group, yeah. the mix. Join my Facebook group, the mix. Because, look, I don't know this man, so I'm damn sure not going to throw anything at this guy. But what you're telling me is you started updating him and you're 27, he's 50. You didn't tell him your age. And you guys have just been kind of, how long have you guys been one-on-one -on -one monogamous? I would say a good six months. Okay, so for a year and a half, y'all just, ha yeah, join my group. I got to get to the next call. You need, I need to bring you on the show, have a one-on-one. -on -one. Join my Facebook group, come back on for a one-on-one. -on -one. We'll hide your face, though. Okay? 
Bye. All right. Thank you. All right. Yeah, she's cute. She can get it. But I'm not gonna do that to her. And I'm gonna tell you, I want more. I want more women to stop doing this. If you know you want to get married, you're not gonna get a man to marry you just because you think you're gonna put an ultimatum on it. I'm gonna let you, ladies, in the chat room, and whoever, whoever, who's ever audio connects first connects. Uh, Soleil. Hi there. Hi. What, okay, what did I get wrong? You didn't get anything wrong. <laughs> um, I was just calling because I have not hit. I have not hit the wall yet. Mm -hmm. um, I'm actually 23. Right. However, uh, I just wanted to know, like, well, to me, I want to get married in two years. Okay. And I don't know where I go wrong when it comes to meeting or vetting men. I don't know if it's my looks. I know my mom would say that I dress very conservatively. So I don't wear the- So what's the ultimate question? Why you can't get a proposal? Yes. All right, uh, were you raised by mom and dad? Yes. Your mom and dad married? Yes. Is your dad still alive and in your life? Yes. All right. And what's the longest relationship you've had? About four years. And you're 23? Yes. All right. Uh, and why didn't you guys uh, formalize it? So he just turned 50. So he met me when I was uh, 19 years old. Okay. And he felt that I wasn't ready for a relationship okay let, so, me, let me let me back up let me back up you met a guy when you were 19 and he was 50. no he just turned 50 he was about like 46 40. he was 46. Yeah, 46. Did, did he meet your father he recently met my father he met my father um, last year and we met him again this year he met who he he met my father again this year okay when did your father find out about this man? This year. So fully. You had, so you had a, okay. So you were dating a man 27 years older than you and you kept it secret from your father. Yes. What's the problem with that? Well, I always thought it was an issue. Um, I wanted to expose the relationship. But no, listen him. what I'm trying to say. You were too young. Okay. Uh, why were you dating a man at 46 years old? Uh, was he wanting to get married? He didn't state that he wanted to get married. Right. He, okay. Yeah, he didn't. Okay. So there are a lot of moving parts here. First of all, that large of an age gap, um, you really should have been dating that man. And, and did you know you wanted to get married? At the time, no. Okay. Okay. All right. So, all right. That makes sense. You were just kicking it. Yeah. So, and you didn't want to tell your father because you knew it'd be a problem. Yes. All right. But you ladies need to stop kicking it for so long. You don't kick it for four years. You kick it for six months. Cause now you're saying how you, how come you can't keep a, a, a relationship? If you've been with that person that long for four years, uh, man, how long you, all you know is that one guy. If, are you guys monogamous or were you dating other people? Dating other people. But due to the age gap. All right. Um, you got a lot of things going on, ma'am. In a bullet point, number one, you can't not you can't not involve your father or men because I'm gonna just tell you, it doesn't sound like you make the best decisions when it comes to men. Dating a 46 year old man just to kick it. Uh, no. And then if you got a lot of other guys going on, guys of marriage minded men are going to run your cat facts and they're going to, and they're going to look at your relationships and they're going to say, why in the hell are you dating a 46 year old guy over here? 25 year old guy over here, this over here. And your daddy don't know too much problems. I'm going to get over here. It ain't got nothing to do with the way you dress. It has everything to do with the way you approach the market and your character. So first things first, uh, I always say, Everybody needs some therapy. Um, I don't know what your home life was. 
But keeping something like that so big from your father for one, two, three, you hid this man for two plus years, three years? Yes, I just now let my father and it know went, about And it went, and, and are you guys t- t- still together or are you broken up? Broken up. See, you went in for three years, you told your dad, so your dad knows, he knows you hid it from him and you got nothing out of it. I can't fix that right now. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know why you didn't trust your father um, to help guide you through this process. Uh, but that would be something I would look at. Number one, number two, um, that sounds like some underlying issues there, ma'am. I, this really does. And then number three, uh, when you say you want to be married inside two years, it goes back to the question of why do you want to be married? Do you want to be a housewife and all these other things? Oftentimes young ladies like yourself with such a chaotic kind of dating history, you really don't know what you want. You just want what sounds good. And that's why it's hard to find anything because it's make believe. Got it? You got it. Thank you. Sweet. Come on back. Oh. Unmute yourself. Money world. Hello. Hello? Hello? I cannot hear you. You're going to have to take me off Bluetooth, put a speakerphone in or something like that, and then come back. See? <clears throat> Hello? Going once. You just muted yourself again. <laughs> I'm going to ask you to unmute yourself one more time. And if you unmute yourself, you can go ahead and speak. So, yeah, uh, let's talk about this. A lot of uh, what I notice a lot of times with these danger zone kind of women, they have these long, long relationships that go nowhere. If you know you want to be married, why are you dating somebody two years, three years, five years? Knock it off, man. You're not going to, okay, sweet soul, you're not doing what you're supposed to do, so I'm going to go ahead and put you back. Um, You, you ladies aren't going to, you're not going to get some guy to decide to be with you. Y'all keep on asking about the other other girl. Yeah, y'all liked her, man. She had long hair, pretty nice hazel eyes, nice smile. Yeah, yep, y'all loved her. Yep. Yep. Uh, Wasting your time, no, sis. You're 27. The way you, the way in which just your avatar, Miami's a really competitive city, but you got no real problems. Uh, as long as you clear that mess out. Yeah. Hey guys, leave that. Uh, I'm going to leave that one alone. Um, mm, I try not to, I try not to get too deep in that. That was a big gap, too big a gap for me to be comfortable with, especially Especially when you, uh, especially when you, I don't want to hear from you guys, man. Guys, I'm not asking for guys to call in. I'm not asking for guys to call in. So, no. See, take something from, here's what I want you guys to take from it. One, that danger zone thing is real. You get to 27 and you know you want to be a wife, stop playing games. You need to wear, I want to be a wife on your forehead. Sugar P, you in here. Sugar P, get on. Let the subby play like that. Well, she got played like that because she didn't tell her daddy. She she wanted to get played. That's just not cool. I mean, no way in hell I'd be dating a woman that age. No, no, not 19. Mm Mm-mm. Ah, that's uh, that's just uh, she's legal, but it's not for me. Not it's legal, not for me. Um, you ladies need men in your life that can tell you the frank, honest truth. And yes, 
you need men in your life that can risk being rude. Let me say that again. You need men in your life that can risk being rude. Uh, Sugar P up. Adriana Strickland, you're next. And then Sweet Soul, you still there. What's going on, Sugar P? You need men in your life that can risk being rude. Ask to unmute yourself. Sugar P, how are you? How are you? you? Yeah, I can. Good. How are you? Good. You're in a marriage market, yes? Yeah. Do you let me? No, I I hit the danger zone on Thursday. (laughs) Huh? Uh oh. Then I hit the danger zone on Thursday. So when you when you meet a when you interact with a, a guy, how soon do you let it be known that you're looking to be married? I let them know like when I meet them, like discuss what are their goals, like, you know. And the guys I've been meeting, they also let me know that they're not look wait looking to waste time. Sorry. But she says she lets them know up front when you're discussing goals and what you want to this is a this is a first date conversation. This is a this is a pre date conversation as far as I'm concerned. I don't even, I would suggest to women, you don't even go out with a man without letting it with, as soon as possible. But thank you. That's why I wanted you to call in. And, and how's that? And has that, how many men have that scared? Has that scared any guys off? I mean, I'm, there are some guys that might stick around. I think if, and I have like, let's say they stick around and they try to play games. I feel like I properly vet by just seeing by their actions mm-hmm. and not being played by words mm-hmm. that they're serious and but there have I mean the men that I since I moved to Houston I'm on a break now with this coronavirus right but there are men that I've been dating that um you know they agree they stick around they're very consistent and I mean that's their goal too so cool. I'd rather date someone that is aligned with my goals than waste my time with someone who's not Thank you for calling in and letting the ladies hear that from your mouth. Sugar P, y'all, with her fine self. Go on in, sugar. Bye, y'all. Have Bye, a good night. Look here. So, uh, this is what I need you guys to understand. Ladies, don't let nobody play you. Don't play yourself. Don't play yourself. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. That did the wrong message. Okay. Hold on. This computer is acting slow. Okay. Um. Yeah, you need to let guys know up front. Uh, let them up, let people know as soon as possible. You don't want to. You don't want to. You don't want to play yourself, and especially if you're young. The younger you are, the more people you need involved around you, in my opinion. Uh, uh, Adriana, you're up next. What's going on? How are you? Another day. Hey, uh, you need to go ahead and unmute yourself. I can't hear you. You got on blue. There you go. There we go. You go. What's going on? Hi. How are you? What did I get Good. wrong? How are you? Um, nothing. I just can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. So, um, yeah. Okay. Hi. Hi. Turn off the YouTube. You, if you got on YouTube, you need to turn off YouTube in the background because you're gonna get double. You're gonna get feedback. Can you hear me? Can you hear I can me now? now. I can hear you fine. Hi. So, um. I am 28. Okay. Um, I I don't know where to start. I'm just trying to figure out why I'm single. So trying to figure out why you're single. Let me ask you some questions. Okay. Okay. Uh, were you raised with mom and dad? Yes, both parents. Uh, were they married? Yes. Uh, any siblings? Yes, two. Uh, and your dad was in the house until you graduated from high school. Yes. Okay. Um, and what was the last, what's the last relationship you had? <laughs> um, my last relationship was last year. Last year. And how long yeah. was that? 
not long, like maybe a year, six months, a year. Okay. It was after grad school. Okay. Uh oh. What's the longest relationship you ever had? Um, um, a year and a half. He was French. I was when I was living in France. All right. What'd you go to grad school for? Um, speech pathology. All right. What's your undergrad in? Um, French and speech pathology. All right. So, and you spent time in in France for how long? Two years. And, and what city are you in now? I'm in Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, one, the competition is high in Los Angeles. Um, yeah, I've been getting, I just joined this app called The League and it takes, they say six months to like get on, but I got on like, I applied yesterday and I got on today. All right. Well, the, <laughs> so, the competition is stiff in Los Angeles. Um, cause it is. Yeah, a lot of beautiful women in Los Angeles. And do you want to be a housewife? Um, yeah, I do, I think. Yeah. Okay, and how many children do you want to have? Two, Mac. Two, yeah. Two? Mm-hmm. Two? And do you ever want to have to work to pay significant bills? Um... <laughs> I don't not think. really. Okay, no. so you want, okay, okay. I want to create. Okay, no. Okay, so I don't. in LA, how much mm-hmm. does it how much do you think a man would need to make to be able to take I your, know. Hmm? I know. I've looked this up cuz okay. I'm with my friends. Um, well, to be comfortable in LA, you need at least 100 and um 30, but that's not that's but to take care of two children, mm-hmm. I would say probably like, oof, like 400. Right. Like, pro- yeah. All right. That's so I got, a, I got a hard question for you. You ready for it? Buckle in. Yeah. Buckle in. Are you a $400,000 okay. a year woman? I've been dating men in that range. Um, but the problem is like they the- haven't proposed, they haven't dropped the ring. No, they have not. They have not because I haven't, I wasn't sure what I, okay. I wasn't sure what I wanted. So I just started working because I just graduated. So I just started like working last. You skipped the question I asked. Yeah. Are you a $400,000 a year woman? I think so. Yeah, I think so. What would you rank yourself on a scale from one to 10? And you cannot use a seven on a scale of physical facial beauty. I would say um, an eight, nine, nine. Yeah, nine. Yeah. An LA nine or uh, an LA nine? Because LA is different. It is. It is. All right. Um, I model, so I don't know. I like model here. And right. I get jobs well, you're, and stuff you're, as well. you're thin. Mm-hmm. Do you still me have? Yeah. Do you still have on YouTube? <laughs> you still have on YouTube because you can. I'm still hearing background noise. Let me see. No, let me log out of this internet. Okay, back. All right. Well, I mean, all right. Do you date? Are you only into black men? Um, no, I date other ethnicities. No. All right. And what dress size do you wear? Um, a two. But to say you like you, you're kind of thin. You're like a two, a, a mm-hmm. zero or two. So yes. The the amount of American men that make. Wrong. The amount of American men that make like four hundred thousand dollars or more. What percentage of men do you think make that in this country? Uh, I don't know. Maybe like like three to four percent. Maybe perhaps mm, that less. No, no, it's like one percent. One one percent. One percent. So you're looking for one percent of men. Mm-hmm. And 1% of men, I got to be honest, they mm-hmm. typically marry their own race unless she is beautiful or gorgeous. Right. And I went to an image consultant for like my acting. And of course I had straight hair and stuff. Like you when did I go, what with like, an image consultant? I went to an image consultant for acting mm-hmm. as well. Mm-hmm. And he was white and he just, he told me, he was like, you're the, (laughs) he was like, I'm the woman that women love to hate. And, um, he told me that I look like I'm going to be upscale and I'm going to do like attractive careers. And he also told me that I would be like the second wife, whatever that means. Okay. He was like, yeah. 
Okay. Uh, and the longest relationship you had was like a year and a half? Two, yeah, year and a half, two. two and why didn't he yeah. propose to you? Oh, well, it really wasn't. Was it a year? Let me see. I was 21 and I moved back to America. Okay. So that's what happened. I moved back to America. That was my longest. We were both young. He was like 23. I was 21. He was getting um, his master's what, in engineering. Well, why didn't he ask you to marry him? Um, he didn't really have anything. He was like a student. We were both young well, and I moved back to America. Why were you that long? I don't, I don't think it was that long. Cause let's see, I went to. Okay. Baby girl, baby girl, you're all over the yeah. place. You're Sorry. all over the place. Um, and. I was with him from when I moved, I was in France for six months and then he came back. So six months to a. Well, let me go ahead and just, let me go ahead and ramp it on down. 400,000 yeah. is a big ask. Okay. How old are you? 28? How old are you? 28? Yeah. I am. It's too big of it's too big of an ass for a woman. Uh, it's twenty eight okay. years old. I mean, you're, you're I I would say, yeah. you know, if I had to rate you, mm -hmm. I I would give you. Do you want my ranking? Yeah, do it, do it. All right, I I would give you a six. Okay, I give, okay. I would give you cute. You know. Okay. Uh, my scale. Okay. You know, are you familiar with who a Pam Greer is? No. Okay, don't do it now. Don't do it now. Okay. Pam Greer. Here's some women to check. Pam Greer. Uh, Dorothy Dandridge. Diane yes. Carroll. Uh, ja uh, Jane Kennedy. Yes. These are all women back from the 70s. I don't use recent women because there's there's some, because politics comes into it. You know, right. But all these women are classically beautiful. Right. Um, they're, you know, they all, they all, they all were on the cover of somebody's Vogue magazine. They could right. model. They were not fashion models. So you're very slight. So you can model a lot, but you're really thin. And, uh, that's why I, I would, I would say you probably wear a two. The more yeah. thing as a two or zero. Um, yeah. and then how tall are you? Five, eight. Okay. So you, so you have a model's physique. Um, yeah. I don't, I mean, you can get guys who will be attracted to you, but um, speaking French, uh, as uh, how many languages do you speak? Two. I'm bilingual. All right. Yeah. So I would say your best bet, honestly, in LA would be to work with a matchmaker. Yeah, I I um was going to do that. A one woman contacted me. Well, to I was, do that's it. gonna be that's gonna be just trying to meet somebody okay. off the rip because because you your particular uh, set of market uh, mm -hmm. uh, benefits aren't for the rank and file American. You you're very different. You spent time in France, mm -hmm. matchmaker. Um, okay. You, and, and that will allow at least allow you to be put in proximity with men who have the kind of means you're talking about who, who would need a wife, uh, who right. could be bilingual and those kind of things. Those are selling mm -hmm. points. Um, okay. but as far as if you just got to just straight up compete on just physical beauty, the, st right. the stakes are too high in LA. You, I mean, cause you're, yeah. you're not there. You're not in LA nine. Uh, not, mm -hmm. you know, we were kind of right there in the middle. Okay. okay. That'd be my suggestion. Uh, okay. join my Facebook so group. Matchmaker, matchmaker. I'm on it. I'm on it. Okay. I'm on it. I, I got to get going. to the next one. It's almost one o'clock. Thank okay. you. Okay. Thanks. Bye bye. Yeah, bye. guys. She's she's a uh, when you're when you're built like a model, you know. In L.A., man, you gotta understand. L.A. is a different place. L.A. is like New York City. Um. And being bilingual. <laughs> is a selling point for a lot of guys. Hello, Tamara. Hello. One. Two. Hello. Yeah, don't be rude in the chat room, guys. Be nice. Tamara, what's going hi. on? Oh, hi. Um, I'm just calling this first time that I'm calling and I've been watching you for a while. Okay. And well, I'm in the danger zone. All right. So. Well, what did I get wrong? I don't think you got anything wrong. I was in the, the chat and um, mm -hmm. it's unfortunate, but uh, I was raised with 
predominantly my Filipino family. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them, they warned me from marriage and they scared me from it. So I'm 34 now Mm -hmm. and I realized probably within 31, I was Mm -hmm. like, why did I wait so long? Why why didn't I get into finding somebody? Mm -hmm. Um, And I just focused on my career, working, going to school. Your career? You're 34? Yes. What do you do for a living? I'm a, a consultant for a hospital. Okay. Yeah. Um, and, and your background is you said Latino. What was it? Uh, Filipino. Filipino. I'm half Filipino and half black. Oh, you one of them people that are stabbing it. Oh. Filipino women are crazy. <laughs> oh. Passion, passionate women, but God, dog, you do not oh. want. To... <laughs> all right. So uh, I would agree. All right. So uh, any children? No children. Uh, and how tall are you? Five three. Uh, what dress size? Uh, 14. Lost some weight recently. So. One four? Okay. Uh, yes, one how four. Much, how much did you weigh at your last weigh-in? Uh, 190. Okay. Obviously, uh, that's that's on the upper side. And if you had to rank okay. yourself on a scale from 1 to 10 on your face and you cannot use a 7, where would you put it? I would say a 6. And I know because I'm older, so I would say a 6. All right. Well, yeah. um, have you? When was the last time you were a normal, healthy weight? Uh, I was twenty nine. And how much did you weigh then? One sixty, and I'm. I was an athletic build that did powerlifting and things like that. All right. Uh, yeah. so but you're five foot three. Yes. So a normal, healthy weight for five foot three is right about one twenty. When were you? When the last mm-hmm. time you were then? That size. Oh, I don't, I can't even tell you. Not not even high school. I've always been athletic. Okay. So, but you didn't come out of the womb and just go athletic. No, no. I but I don't think when I was younger I was weighing myself. So okay. I started weighing myself probably in high school. That's why I try to use dress size and everything else. Yeah. But but yeah. Uh, obviously, um, do you want to be a state? Do you want to have children? Yes. How many? I do. At least one. At least one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then do you want to work? I do. Okay. So you don't want to be a stay at home mother? No. All right. Uh, I, I, it goes to say that, and I, and what, and Northeast, Southwest, what region of the country? Oh, I live in California. All right. Uh, Northern, Northern California or Southern? No, Northern. All right. Yeah. I wish more women would take care of their physical weight and dress size because this has more to do with your ability to find a man than anything else. Um, When you say, when you tell women were they prepared to be wives and, and I asked myself that question as you asked them and I wasn't, I was prepared to take care of myself um, to make my own money. I wasn't prepared. Mm -hmm marriage minded okay and as a consultant up in for hospitals uh because the bay mm-hmm. area northern california is rather expensive uh yeah. do you have your own place do you have a roommate i what? do okay no i live by myself on my own house okay um because i weigh 200 and i'm mm-hmm. like a foot i'm a foot and inch taller than you mm-hmm. that's a big that's a big issue yeah. what are you doing to get that weight down significantly this year I've started doing keto, um, or mm-hmm. in the last couple months and, and I, I work out almost every day. Um, and Do you so have I've, a personal I've trainer? A, I did. I did until COVID started and, um, you know, I have um, several clients who are personal trainers that doesn't stop you. Yeah, that's true. Do you have a nutritionist? I don't. Do you have an image consultant? I don't. I think hearing you is the first time I ever heard of that happening. All right. Have you ever sat down with a therapist? Yes. Okay. Uh, How long ago was that? Uh, I started last year. Mm -hmm. And it's, but it's interesting because again, not being marriage minded, I focused on a lot of work stress. Um, And so I, I, I definitely want to steer my conversations into relational stress. Well, I mean, so Period. obviously, if you waited th- late in life and you never prioritized it, you're going to have yeah. to make much more realistic marriage decisions. I, I, right. I, it doesn't sound like it, but I, I just want to go ahead and say this. There is no Disney romance. There's yeah. no soulmate. There's right. none of that in your future. Yeah. 
in your future is going to be much more of a partnership. That yeah. doesn't mean a love. That does not mean a a passionless, sexless contractual agreement. But but men are visually stimulated. Yeah. So you may. So everything that you've worked on means nothing to a man. Mm-hmm. And that's a hard pill for a lot of women to swallow because you're proud. A lot of women like yourself are proud of what you've accomplished. You own a home, yeah. you have a career, but that does nothing for a man. <laughs> I know. And I've been told the opposite. <laughs> what, have you been, what have you been told? That if you have, if you're an independent woman, right? You uh-huh. know, that feminist messaging. But who told you? You have you your that? own house. Who told you that? Uh, my, my family. Men or women? My family. Women and, and married women told me that too. They they right. praised me for right. focusing on school because they didn't. Right. So, and see, I want to do a show on how often uh, older women jack up younger women by yeah. lying to you. And here's yeah. the thing: I guarantee you, none of them would have given up their 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 husbands <laughs> and their children for what you yes. have. Yes, I I would agree. I so, would agree. If you really want to have your best shot. Uh, I'm going to tell you, you need to get down to a dress. Uh, you're five foot three. Yeah. You need to get down to a dress size six. And it's possible. Yeah. Uh, you did not come out of the womb as a stocky power lifter. Right. So um, focus on getting your weight down like the way you focused on getting your career. Because yeah. you are be amazed at how off, how much your romance prospects will improve as your dress size decreases. Yeah. Uh, Kevin, can I ask you one more question? Go ahead. So, okay. okay. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, so um, um, I'm also celibate. And so I find that recently as I've been dating. Celibate? Bring up, yeah. I'm okay. waiting till marriage. Not a virgin, wait, but waiting till marriage. Okay. Um, Why? How do you? Uh, I've always felt that I should be doing that for my religious beliefs, okay. um, but I didn't. Um, and I wanted to. What religious belief? Are you Christian? Yes, sir. When was the last time you had sex? Six years. It's gonna be a hard pill. It's gonna be hard to sell, Tamara. Yeah, I know. It's be hard, I mean, that. That, you're damn near impossible to sell at this point. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I I'm as a Christian. I'm gonna tell you right now. Unless you're a virgin, it's hard to sell that. Yeah. Because here's what men hear: you're celibate, but then they sit and look at your career path, and then how you and then your body and things like that, and they're like, well. Being celibate's not hard if you're not really being sought after by a lot of men. Mm-hmm. That's what that's how a man that's how a lot of men's minds process it. See, mm-hmm. it's harder to be celibate when you're a little Victoria's Secret model, right? Or you're a hot little piece. Okay. Um, I'm not saying it's impossible, but finding a man who's a virgin in his late thirties. Oh no, it doesn't have to be a virgin. But that's what it's going to. No, because I'm not a virgin. But, but again, no, that's what it's going to kind of retake. Most men are sexually active. Yeah. And they're not going. And I'll be honest, most men are not going to marry you without that knowing how you are in bed at this mm-hmm. advanced age. Yeah. It is unrealistic. Yeah. So I don't know how important it is for you, but basically what you're doing is you're you're making it to where you're going to die alone. Mm. Let me go ahead and put I'm take out I'm I'm gonna put a fine point on it. You're making yeah. it to where you're going to die alone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because had, in, in, a, in, a, in a in a in a in a in a just like that, you'll be forty years old. Forty years old, two hundred yeah. pounds. Yeah. Who can sell that? Yeah. Not but, even yeah. Well, I thank you, Kevin. I know there's a lot of women that give you flack, but I appreciate. I again, I didn't. I you didn't ask me, but I wasn't raised with my father, so I you're just it. you're very honest. You're to the point, point. Um, and I think too many times we're told the Disney story, and we need to hear honest feedback. And it's not harsh; it's just honest, but and it may feel is, bad, but, but it's honest. But you have choices that you can make, and Absolutely. if you make choices and do something about the choices then you can greatly improve your outcomes. See, yeah. I'll, the question is, how can you live a happy life? 
Because yeah. you may have things, but I don't hear happiness. Yeah. And no, happiness right. is in human interaction and connection. Not, mm -hmm. I mean, we all want, human beings want an emotionally profound relationship, but we also need us a network of things as well. And too yeah. many of uh, too many people in this country have been taught to go out and get a career and get your house in it. And we're all sitting yeah, in our houses stuff. like this with coronavirus happened. Like this ain't it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not. Thank you, Tamara. Thank you. Thank bye -bye. you. All right. Bye. All right, uh, guys. Uh, uh, I'm gonna try to get through these, and I'm gonna get out of here. Oh, three more people calling. All right, let's try to get this done. Ooh, it's just getting late. Hot topic, though, I guess. All right. Sweet. Hello. Hello. Sweet soul going once. Sweet soul going twice. Sweet soul. Out of here. All right. So. Here we go. She sounds nice. Yeah, she sounds pretty nice. Uh, hello. Need to unmute yourself. Money world. Do, 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 do. Last two people in the, are trying to get in. Look, man, there's something. <laughs> the more things we put on our situation, the more people we put on our, uh, the more things. This is what Rebecca Lynn Pope was talking about, you know. Uh, unrealistic standards. We don't have to have these things. Uh, uh, let me go ahead. Unmute yourself. Fola. All right, you need to unmute yourself. Hello. Hello, can you hear me now? I can. Excellent. Um, yes, thanks for taking my call. Hello. I'm super nervous. Huh? <laughs> You're super nervous? Yes. Don't have to be. You don't have to be. Well, um, I've been first? listening to your show well, for a week well, now. But before we get started, can I get your first name, please? Sorry, Fola. Fola. How are you, Fola? Yeah. I'm well, thanks. How are you? I'm good. All right. What can I do for you? Okay. So I am um, over the wall, I suppose. I'm 40. All right. Um, never been married. So really just looking for some advice. Not had a secure family, which was, I think is kind of part, definitely part of the reason. And that's just even more pertinent listening to you. Um, been in therapy and uh, looking to see how I can move things forward. Okay, so you said you've never been married, and you said something about a secure. What what you mention about your family? Um, not a secure family. Come from a very disrupted family. Oh, okay. And uh, how's therapy progressing? It's good. It's 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 been on and off for the past like year and okay. a half. Okay. Um, but I've really learned a lot about myself, which okay. is why I think I'm ready to actually have a relationship. All right, and. And you see your therapist how consistently? Um, it's not been so consistent at the moment, but okay. I was going, like I've been seeing somebody weekly. Okay. Um, just need to make sure the finances are in order so I can keep on. All right. And where are you? And are you in the, are you in the States? No, I'm in London. So Hi. I actually stayed up to, to speak to you. I've been, I actually emailed you as well. Oh, cool. So, Shout out to people yeah. in Seville Row. London actually was on my possible to move to cities. Uh, I well, have, I'm trying to move out. <laughs> I would have loved to be there on Seville Row. So you're 40. Okay. Yes. Um, so let's get some preliminary. Uh, so did you go to, did you go to university? I did. Uh, and what did you go to school for? <laughs> I went to school for law, um, but then I actually moved into fashion. So I was then working in fashion PR. Okay. So I didn't use All right. right. But, but again, that law thing, boy. Ooh. I know. I know what you're going to say. I listened to a show a couple of weeks ago. A couple of days ago. Oh, <sighs> uh, you're in fashion. Uh, how tall are you? Five, six. I'm a UK, UK dress size 10 okay. to 12, which is a US six to eight. Okay. And this is the biggest I've been. I've actually put on, um, I've put on about half a dress size in the last eight to 10 months. All right. Uh, how social are you 
Uh, when when there is no COVID? Not as social as I need to be. As I say, I think I was going through so much else with regards to my personal life that mm -hmm. my social life just was on the back burner, which is part of the reason okay. that I know that I'm single. But I think the other part of the reason that I'm single is because I just wasn't, I know I wasn't kind of socially equipped to, to maintain. Well, what was the longest, when was the longest relationship you ever had? When I was in my early twenties, I had a relationship for two years. And okay. then after that, it's just been okay. not much dating. So, so, and that ends when you were what, 24, 25, 21? 24. 24. Yeah. So for 16 years, you've been out of it. Basically. Yeah. All right. So first thing I would say is, uh, you're gonna, your, your social skills, your interpersonal communication skills are rusty in image, the B and the C part, you may have the A part, uh, the behavior and the communication. That's where it really, uh, and this happens far too often with people who really tend to fo go turn inward and uh, focus on career and things like that. What are your, what is your, what are your plans to actually start getting out and being coming more social uh, as we start, as the pandemic starts to wind down? Well, this, thing, this is the trouble that I was having. Cause obviously I don't want to go to clubs because that's not right. necessarily going to be the, the best thing. So I was looking at, you know, I go out to dinner with friends and, you know, I, I socialize with people that I feel are, that would introduce me to or hang around with the kind of people and men that I want to meet. But I'm just really mindful of not just trying to go from one bar to another. Well, so here's when the thing. I do, go out for dinner. do you have, would you have a group of friends that are unmarried? Most of us. <laughs> Most mm -hmm. of us are, yes. So, so, so have you considered working with a matchmaker? That's what I'm looking at after speaking, after listening to your show is getting an image consultant. Well, I mean, because if you work in fashion, our businesses should really put us in, in proximity with people, but that's a hodgepodge. You don't know what you're going to get. Mm. Uh, it just don't. I mean, you can have creatives and you can have crazies. Uh, and then at 40, you know, your partic the particular things that you may need or want uh you're more set in your ways matchmakers are are, are going to have more of a list of people like-minded people um than you could just going to a bar that's you don't have time to do this exactly. your way um and that would be what i would say you're already in, in fashion uh get your own image consult from don't do your own work get get a second opinion i did it myself if you go back on my channel I actually had two people that I work with and I we, don't do your, don't do your own stuff. Number yeah. one, number two, uh, personal trainer, uh, and matchmaker, because you want to look good in your little black dress regardless. <laughs> so you got to keep yourself in shape fit to give yourself the best chances up period. Uh, and see matchmakers also, uh, tend to have suggestions of things to do to help you become more socially adroit in a non-pandemic situation. So that would be my suggestion. Right. Uh, London, okay. London provides a place uh, for it's a lot of singles in London. It's like a new, it's like a different, it's like, I think of another New York city, uh, uh, but it's not uncommon to find people you know, in their late twenties, thirties, forties, who are single over there, and it's not—it's not like being over here to be in Fayetteville, Arkansas. That's a death sentence here. Over there, not so much. Just different. But keep me posted. Yeah, I feel that. But I feel that there's a culture of of not of not getting married in London. That's well, what I they're, find they're, not 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 everyone, not everybody, but it's not so I, I maybe it's I've been in the States for a while as well. Um, but there seemed to be more of a cohesion to want to get married. Whereas here it's, that's why you go to the people that that's why you take out. That's why you take out that part of it. And you go towards the matchmaker, that kind of stuff, the people who raise their hand because and, the, and, the culture, the culture is a hookup culture right now. The culture is marriage is on the decline, but there are people who still get married. 
uh, and those people are having to do things differently than than our parents, our grandparents, and our great grandparents. Absolutely. So I'm gonna Thank wrap the show up though. I appreciate it. It's getting Thank almost one o'clock. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh joy, oh joy! I'll give you three minutes. Joy is the last person. Joy, joy, joy. Oh joy, joy. Hello. 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 Hi. Hello. Can you hear me? I can. I can. What's your first name? Joy. Joy. What can I do for you, Joy? Kevin, forgive me. I can't stay that long just because of the time difference. But I wanted to call in because just like the other girl that was saying that she's 23, as a uni student, I wanted to thank you for the advice that you do give because even though it's a bit uncomfortable, it's nonetheless wise and it's grounded in balance. And I really wanted to thank you because it's helped me to change my perspective. And yeah, so I just wanted to say that and I'll let you go because I know there are others that want to ask questions, but thank you. Thank you very much. You have a good evening. Bye-bye. <laughs> so, nanny nanny boo boo to everybody who got some shit to say to me about what I do. You got women calling from the UK and around the world and even here. I do what I the best I can. Ain't nobody perfect. I'm damn sure far from it. But it always helps women to hear what the men, the kind of men they say they want are thinking. My clients are the very guys that a lot of you ladies would like. And that's what it really comes down to. Where in the blue blazes is going on with this? Um, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's what it is. All right, guys, it's late. It's getting late. This was a good show. But remember, you need to ask yourself a question. If you are, if you know you're, you know you're in the danger zone, stop acting like you're not. Jump into that cold water and shake yourself off. Therapy, personal training, image consultant, matchmaker. Women who are really going after the things they say they want in a serious way change their prospects. Let's say what I'm saying is complete crap. Let's say you never find the guy or you never get found by the guy. What's the downside of having your head on right, having your heart in a clear space, being able to look good in that little black dress and having a broad network of friends and living a happy life? I'm not, I don't make any promises to, to change this world. It is what it is. We got what we got. But here's the thing, just like I was talking about my Facebook group, The Mix, it's been going for less than 45 days, less than 40 days. And one couple has already met. One couple met inside of two weeks. People are meeting if they want to meet. And I want guys to be living the best version, of, the best version of themselves and living a happy life. And ladies, men want women. And part of living a happy life is living a life of of of, of of significance if and when you choose to get with somebody. You do yourself no good by acting like it does not exist. So, it has been a good show. It's been fun. It's been good. But we got to get up out of here. Wait till tomorrow night's show. I cannot wait till tomorrow night's show. I don't want to tip my hand. But if I tell you now, you be like, I got to get in here. So, tomorrow, make sure we check out tomorrow night's show. But until then, peace. We or gone. Yes. The playlist is coming out this week. Yes, I've heard you. I'm going to put together a playlist that you can it's drive to. It's fly to. I cannot say what's you can groove right. to. That soothes you. Hey. Join me on Patreon. Videos you will only see there. Monday, 6.30 Eastern Standard Time, live stream. Join me.
find me on IG over in the frat room for videos that are up every day behind the scenes. I cannot wait till my drone comes in in the morning. Drone footage. Email me at buykevinsamuels.com with your show ideas, things like that. If you want to book your one on one session, go to buykevinsamuels.com. Keep it business. Hey guys, whether look, style, or life, whether personal or professional, you can level up and be your personal best each and every day. If you're interested in any of that, do us both a favor, follow the link in the description and book your one-on-one -on -one session with me. Details down in the description. Peace.